want to play this whole section here for you. I want you to hear what he did last night. To close that credibility gap, we have to take action on both ends of Pennsylvania Avenue. To end the outsized influence of lobbyists. Stop. To do our... Is he not the guy who has Andy Stern? Is he not the guy who says, hey, I want to talk about immigration? I talk to SCIU. I want to talk about health care. I talk to SCIU. Your agenda is my agenda. He wants to stop outside influence. Oh, my gosh. Then you have, uh, uh, he says that we have to restore a credibility gap. He's lying in his advice on how to repair a credibility gap because too many people think that Washington are liars, cheats, thieves. So let me lie to you and tell you what I do, which he doesn't, on lobbyists. I'm sorry, I got sidetracked. Go ahead. Work openly to give our people Stop. the government they deserve. Stop. Stop. Work openly. He wants to work openly. Mm-hmm. How about honoring your, pro- your, your promise of C-SPAN hearings? He wants to work openly. Okay. That's what I came to Washington to do. That's why, for the first time in history, my administration posts on our White House visitors online. Stop. That's why I Stop. Because it was demanded through a Freedom of Information Act. How long did Fox try to get through the Freedom of Information Act to get the, the White House visitors? We post online months after, and not everybody... Believe me, we filed for the Freedom of Information Act. Again, if you know what this man is doing, if you're if you're a schlub that, you know, still thinks, oh, we're America, we'll weather anything. Don't worry about it. And you're just watching him. This is a brilliant speech. But I truly believe those days are over in America. What these politicians don't know is you are dealing with a different group of voters. You are dealing with people who are not playing politics. They don't care anymore. They are seeing the end of their children's financial future. And they want the truth. You cannot push them like this. You cannot do it. He's he's raised the stakes beyond your wildest imagination. I think he's doing it intentionally as well. The arrogance. Go ahead. We've excluded lobbyists from policymaking jobs or seats on federal boards and commissions. Consider the, the reaction there. Is, they know. I've never heard anything like it. He's got lobbyists from Raytheon in his cabinet for uh, for electric utility companies. Goldman, Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs. Eric Holder himself <laughs> was a lobbyist. I mean, I it's mean, it is Timothy Geithner's um, assistant is a lobbyist of Goldman Sachs. Mm, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm going to show you the influence of big banks tonight on television. I mean, it's. And listen, I have never heard. I'm not a guy who said uh, Joe Wilson. I understand his frustration, but I don't agree with you're in for decorum. This is the president of the United States. This is a state of the union. Um, You know, when he says liar, or you lie. I wasn't for that. But when you hear what happened last night and the groans, it was, his lies were breathtaking. Mm-hmm. I don't think they could stifle him. I, I don't really think don't. So. I, if I'm I were a, in there, I would have done the same thing. Oh my well, God. I was at home doing it. I was too. How could you possibly say that? Mm. I mean, and he expects to get away with it. I woke the up the kids. The bigger the lie, the easier it is to swallow. Oh, uh, yeah. You what? I woke up the kids yelling at this guy. I mean,. So, so when they were groaning, I'm thinking, you know, I, I, the restraint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Red State put together a list of all the lobbyists after he said this line: uh, William Lynn, Eric Holder, Tom Vilsack, uh, William Core, David Hayes, Mark Patterson, Ron Klain, Mona Sutfin, uh, Melody Barnes, Celia Munoz, Patrick Gaspard, and Michael Stroutmanis. And those just are just, just, those not, are just I mean, top jobs. Yeah, yeah those are, that, that's not even... That, that, that doesn't even scratch that, the surface. That's not... You can't... Okay, I got one in there. I don't know how he slipped in there. Uh, 
There is no attempt to stop these guys. No. None. Mm-mm. None. I mean, how long? We, we cover those for a week when he broke that promise? And he started breaking it, and it was like, break, 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 break. And, and we were like, what? I mean, where did that promise go? And nobody held him to it. And this goes back to the point you make over and over again about arrogance. He's got to know everyone knows this. I mean, we've yeah, talked about does. it a million times. He does. He just yeah. knows this, no is, this is beyond him. arrogance. Yeah. Huh. This is beyond yeah. arrogance. This also includes the people are stupid. They'll never know. I'll just say whatever I want because it sounds good. I'll say it well. I'll do a good speech. I look presidential. They're stupid. I apologize. This is going to be a very long show today because I haven't even gotten to the part of the soundbite that I I started 23 minutes ago. <laughs> I started the first soundbite still? This yeah. is still yeah. the first <laughs> soundbite, and I haven't even gotten to I want to talk to you about the Supreme Court. Every which, five seconds, though, we get hacked off about something which else. Le- <laughs> which leads me to my real point. After we get to the Supreme Court part. You are fired up today over this. I can't because I expected him to be a radical. I expected him to be um, to follow Saul Alinsky, but I, I just have never seen anything like it. I've never seen anything like it. And um, I worry that my... Uh, I worry that our country is going to be split. I really do. Um, because this guy's just not going to give up. The people around him are not going to give up. Well, he spit in her face last night. Oh. I mean, that I, was just spit no, in your was, face. It was. It was mm-hmm. It was an absolute. Clinton said, we need to hear the American people. This guy says, we didn't explain it well enough to them. <laughs> You're not listening to me. That's, that's I mean, the difference. It's, Even it's Bill Clinton, incredible. Yeah. As much as I didn't like him. I, I never. But Bill Clinton I was Bill a Clinton. genius politician. You bet he would this be This guy is a revolutionary. Yep, big difference. And he is a brilliant speech giver. Brilliant speech giver. He is. He can contradict himself in two sentences he, and not I, get called on it. Can I tell you something? I don't know how much Ambien it would take for me to be able to sleep at night if I could look people in the. I thought Bill Clinton was a good. I did not have. I, I really did. Mm-hmm. This guy, he doesn't even have the, you know, with Bill Clinton, you're like, what's the language here? Right. What's the definition of the is? Yeah. There's no language tricks here. Mm-mm. There's none. He just lies. <laughs> he just looks you right in the eye and says, mm-hmm. uh, I, that's why I'm not hiring any lobbyists. <laughs> what? <laughs> he wants to, to use Stu's analogy about John Edwards, who was lying during his wife's cancer treatment and all that about how what a great guy he was. He's making it would babies be, yes. while his wife is getting chemo. But l- it would now be like John Edwards stepping up and saying, what are you talking about? Yeah. I didn't do We've anything wrong. we got the DNA test. We have you the, on tape <laughs> saying it is my child. There's a no, sex didn't. tape of no. you with yeah. this woman. What yeah. are you no, talking it is about? Really, I never it is, said anything With the Barack cannon. Obama, it isn't even that we have a sex tape where he denies that's me. We have him on tape looking in the camera saying, yep, that's my baby. And then... He looks at the camera and goes, that's ridiculous. It's not my baby, and I'm not going to listen to these charges. I'm not playing the politics of the past. That's what? for the Republicans to do. He did that. They had the picture of him with the baby in the Inquirer, and he still came out and said, I don't, I don't know if that's me. That's not a baby. What? That's that could amazing. be anything. Amazing. Amazing. That really happens. <sighs> okay. Now, we, now we did now it again. All right. We did it again. It's going to be like 40 seconds to right, get to ahead, the Supreme go Court. Can we let I'm going to try. All right. Here we go. go. But we can't stop there. It's time to require lobbyists to disclose each contact they make on behalf of a client with my administration or with Congress. It's time to put strict limits on the contributions that lobbyists give to candidates for federal office. Oh, all right, 20 more seconds. We all do deference to separation of powers. Oh, here we go. Last week, the Supreme Court reversed a century of law that I believe will open the floodgates for special interests. Including foreign corporations. Stop! Stop! To spend stop! Ah! <laughs> Wasn't this the McCain-Feingold <laughs> bill that they reversed? A part of it? Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it I was, thought too. I'm going to be willing. Started. I'm going to be willing to go out on a limb and say that maybe I'm ill-informed on this because no. I only watch Fox News. I know McCain's so maybe old, not, but I know he's not a century, century old. old. 
Pirates. But here's here's the coup de gras. All right. I don't even know what that means. Without limit in our election. Not true, by the way. That's not true, by the way. They can't spend without limit in our election. That's not accurate. They can't make direct donation. There's a million different things. This is one little tiny part of this that they overturned because of that whole crappy First Amendment thing mm-hmm. and that just misguided, well. you know, Constitution. But still, so here's where the press is today. The press is saying um, that Alito, um, Alito, just shook his head. It's like that's not true. Did you watch Schumer behind him? Did you watch him egging these guys on? This is an equal branch of government. And the president, humiliated like a punk, calls him out last night.